AM202. Uh, here's our friend Frenchie. Frenchie, how you doing, darling? Hi, I'm doing okay. I Are you? <laughs> uh, no, not really. But Everybody's worried about you. I know, I know. Um, it's nothing life-threatening. It's just uh, like a constant thing that I'm going through. What are you going through? Um, well, I'm having just a bunch of problems down um, in my lower GI tract. Mm-hmm. I'm going for the big colonoscopy next week, and uh, that should be fun. I'll give you one of those. <laughs> the home version. Not medical. <laughs> yeah. Oh, medical. No, I can't. <laughs> and you won't. And you won't be able to give me the drugs they're going to be able to give me. And knock me out. Yeah. See. <laughs> I worry a little about you with the drug thing, Frenchie. Right, right, because no matter what, I'm going to have to detox off of the pain medicine because right. I'm in constant pain. And you're in a lot of... Um, I see you always look like you're medicated when I see you on Pal Talk. Yeah, because I am. Yeah. Yeah. You get the nods going a little bit. Yeah, and, and if I'm not medicated, I'm in, I can't even stand up. The pain's phenomenal for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they can't figure out what it is. Right, right. So they're just going through everything. I'm tearing up now. But, um, yeah, so, but a lot of it, I've been reading up on the certain things that they say I have, and it, the top thing is stress. That's what right. causes it, is stress. Uh-huh. So now it's more stress because I don't have medical insurance, but there's somebody, well, actually a fan that's helping me out, Perel guy. He's on a medical board, and he's um, trying to help me out with getting medications that I need and uh, certain procedures that I need. Mm-hmm. Um, he stepped up a couple days ago and, and offered me a bunch of stuff to help me out, which is a big weight off my shoulder. Um, because without health insurance, nobody wants to see you. Yeah, it's very, very rough. It's mm-hmm. absolutely rough without health insurance. So, you know, the stress of that, of not having a job right now, and my car is broken down, it's just all this stress piling up. Right. So, it's making it worse. It's making my medical condition worse. So you think that you that the stress is so bad that it's making you physically sick? Right. Mm-hmm. And that's what the doctor said, too. Yeah. Yeah, but all my doctors have said the same thing. So I just don't know. I'm, like, just kind of in the limbo, just waiting for it to get better. (laughs) Do you think that this is something that you could have caught playing that Mafia Life game online? (laughs) Because I worry about that. I am addicted to playing Mafia Life. I am addicted to it, so it's quite possible. I jumped my addiction to MafiaLife.com, definitely. Yeah. So that's quite possible. Okay. They'll have to detox you from that, too. Yeah, detox me from Mafia Life, detox me from the pain medicine, because I do have have an addictive personality, and I jump from one addiction to the next. And um, so I've been... What are all the things you've been addicted to before, honey? Um, Well, believe it or not, I never smoked or drank or did anything until I turned 18. Mm -hmm. And then I started smoking weed. And then I started doing ecstasy for about a year. And then I went um, into pills. And then I started saying, hey, Coke, I can stay up all night and do my my college work and my essays. So I was doing Coke for every night. I was doing an eight ball, spending all my money on that. And then I was taking pills during the day to stay awake and go to class. And... That's pretty much it. That's what. That's where I ended is up with coke and pills, and then I, I went straight to pills, and I went through detoxes, went through two methadone detoxes that didn't work, and then I found this other private physician detox. Um, it's called Suboxone. It's a drug that has an opiate blocker in it. So even if you take, uh, you know, heroin, which I never did, or any type of pain medicine, it blocks it, so mm-hmm. you don't get that high feeling. So that worked wonders, and I'm, and that's the detox medication that I would be, I will be going back on after I'm through with yeah. this stuff. But French, at the same time too, besides just working on, you know, the physical stuff, you need to also work on, you know, why you do the things right. that you do and change some of those behaviors. Exactly, exactly, and it's so hard because I really just don't know. Like I, I that's how I feel. I just don't know. Mm-hmm. My mind is blank. I don't know what to do or how to change and what 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 to change, you know? Mm. 
And uh, with, with, you know, having little Frenchie, it's hard. Right. To kind of do anything for myself. So... I'm sorry. So, no, we know. This is a rough spot right now. Yeah. Well, I know a lot of people love you, and a lot of people are concerned about you. Yeah, I've been getting a ton of support, a ton of love, a ton of get well soon, and it it does make me smile, and thank you to everybody that's been supporting me and just asking how I feel. And a lot of people are worried about these meds, honey. A lot of people see, and they think, well, we're afraid that she's going to go down and not come up again. Yeah, well, I'm not at that point. I'm t- I'm taking them as prescribed. I'm not at the point where I'm abusing them. I know, but even as prescribed, when you have a problem, you know what I mean? Like, right. yeah, yeah, that is true. That's true. When you, I, I, I definitely agree. But for me, if I, like I said, I can't even pick up my daughter. I won't. Mm-hmm. I can't even take her for a walk or do anything. Um, you know, when I when I am in the heavy state i don't have her Mm -hmm. um she's with her father if when people see me like doing the nods that's when i take it as prescribed two i take two of them instead of just the one and then i'm out of pain completely and i don't have to worry about anything but then when i have her i can't take that and i can't i have it's always Sorry, mommy's sick. I can't take you to the pool. Right. Can't take you for a walk. You know, no, we can't go swimming. We can't do this. I'm tired of telling her mommy's sick. I'm tired of it. She every she's so scared that mommy's gonna go back to the hospital every time I go somewhere. She goes, not, you know, mommy's not going to the hospital, right? No more hospital. And, mm. and I can't tell her no because I don't know. So it's hard. Yeah, I know it's hard, darling. <sighs> But yeah, I really do think a lot of it is in my head, stress-wise, and I have to get in the right state of mind. Well, you're gonna to help me. Yeah, I mean, did they did they come with a, any kind of psychological help that you could get? It's a very difficult thing that if you have stress and then you're taking a pill and then that brings on more stress, you got yourself caught up in this you know gimmick right now. Well, yeah, around. all they did for the for the panic attacks and stuff is give me more medicine for that. Right. Uh-huh. You know, and I haven't been taking that because I really just don't... I, I take it when I have a pa- panic attack. They want me to take it all the time. I don't want to take it all the time. I just want to take it when I need it. But, I mean, at one point you're saying I'm doing the prescribed things and then the next thing is, no, I don't even think all their prescriptions are the way to go. Well, I mean, I'm t- for the... Uh, yeah, there's, there's different medication. I mean, I have a list of medications that I'm on right now. But then some of them is like, well, I only take that one when I need it because I don't want to take it all the time because I don't like the way it makes me feel. The other ones I have to take all the time because I can't function without it. So there's like just a complete list of medications that I'm on right now. Medications to help me sleep because I can't sleep at night. You know, it just it goes on and on and on. And, and as far like you said, as far as the psychology, psycho, psychology, it's they're just telling me that you know I have to get on the antidepressant, which I can't afford the medication for that at the time. Now I have somebody that's helping me, so maybe I can get on the antidepressant to help me with that. But I don't know if pills are the way to go. I, I don't want to be have to take medicine for the rest of my life. Yeah, I don't want you to take medicine for the rest of your life either, honey. Right. I want to be able just to be happy and healthy without taking medicine. No. Yeah. All right, honey. Well, you call us anytime, all right? All right. Thank you. Love right. you. Love you too, darling. Right. Love you, Frenchie. Take Love. care. Oh! Ron and Fez. XM202.